and welcome to today's view of GNOME 42. That's right, I went through the trouble of installing it here in boxes. After a bit of a struggle to get things working, I finally have it here for us to explore GNOME 42. It's the beta version of GNOME, but I'm excited to check out what new features we have here. Getting right into it, let's, let's check out if we can get to the settings to check out the appearance real quick because we have a system-wide dark theme now. Not just some applications that use the light theme and then a few that use the dark theme. It should be a more cohesive experience now. We've also received a few new backgrounds, standard with GNOME 42 and their dynamic as well. Let's try using one of the other ones. That's a little bit too much for me. This is more subtle. I like it. And one thing that you might be noticing is a little bit of a redesign in their settings application. You've chose to round out things and put some bars in between their various different subcategories and settings. It looks pretty slick. They didn't overdo it with getting the radius of the roundness way too big. Instead, this looks pretty good. If we just go between some settings here, we'll see the various different setups for each of the categories. Exiting out of there, there hasn't been much of a change to the desktop environment. Not much of the settings either. Just a little bit of a tweak here making things a little more rounded in the events or notifications bar as well, where you reach the calendar on the top. On the right-hand side, not much has changed here. Again, maybe a little more rounded, so the shell here has become a little more rounded everywhere. As you saw in GNOME 41, we have a new style for workspaces as well as for the applications. The tour app is great to go through if you haven't done a tour or haven't used GNOME 40 or above yet. You might want to take the tour real quick just to see some of the updated items that they show you. In files, we have a new theme update for the folder icons. With GNOME 42, a folder icon theme update. As you can tell, the icons look a little different here. A subtle blue going with the folders as well as the icons. I think it looks pretty good. Another thing that they've updated is the screenshot tool. So if you haven't used that, if you just type in screenshot, you'll see there's a new icon for take a screenshot, and this is what the tool looks like. You have selection, screen, and window, so you can either take a picture of a specific window if you have something open. A screen, so the entire screen will be selected with this one, and a selection, you get to select exactly what portion of the screen and how much of it you want screenshotted. Also, you can take video or take a picture. If you click on the picture, you'll hear a click, a camera shutter, and then your file will be saved to a particular location, which is in the pictures directory of the home users folder. As you can see, here's our screenshot. Got to say that the application does look pretty modern. You can also show your pointer in case you want to take a picture of that. They've done a pretty great job of making this look great. And if you take a picture of the actual dock, it's not going to actually include the dock inside of it. They've thought far ahead enough to make sure that that doesn't happen. Plenty of packages updated in GNOME, of course, and there's been bug fixes. The final release is scheduled for March 23rd, 2022. March 5th is the official code freeze. The UI has already been frozen, and this is the release of the UI for the beta version that I'm testing with right now. They've made some work with the lib Iowata, which will help with future UI development. Let's check out the store to see if they changed anything around in there. Looks pretty much the same from what I remember in the last version, GNOME 41. Maybe they've rounded off a couple things in here as well. Another new thing that they've done is they've revamped the GNOME text editor. So let's just open up the text editor here and look and see what this looks like. So text editor 42, the alpha version. And if I start typing in here, Savvy Nick was here. We can make a save real quick in our documents. We'll call it Savvy Nick and hit save. This is what things look like here. Let's see what else we can do. There's clearly tabbing involved here so you can have multiple documents. Everything seems pretty smooth and fluid as far as moving things around. We can set for line numbers in case you're coding. A right margin if you need it. You have automatic indentation tabs or spaces for those of us who like using spaces instead of tabs. And then you can also specify a document type that way that you can have some syntaxing support. So maybe let's see C++. Yes, it does. 
So now we can write some C++ code and it should be able to pick up on that syntax. Let's see if we do that. Int, uh, let's see, main function. There we go, return zero, something like that. I'll need to include IO stream and tell it I'm using a namespace std. That should be enough to create a program. If I save that, very good. Looks like things are working just fine. You can change up the theme, of course. One thing that we're seeing, again, across the board, the dark theme is being applied here also in their text editor app. You can increase the size of the text 200% is much better, at least for me. Find, replace, check out document properties, and overall, you have everything that you could want with a basic text editor here. This is quite exciting. I'm glad that they're revamping things with their new text editor. Well, if you want to check out GNOME 42 for yourself, the beta version, make sure to download boxes from FlatHub, and then you can get GNOME 42. I'll post a link in the description below on where you can download it for yourself. I'll post another link to this page where you can see all of the updates that were made. This is an extensive list of either updates to packages, either in the UI or libraries that got updated. Plenty to read through here if you're very interested in what all is coming with GNOME 42. This is an extensive list. But that's about it. If you made it this far, smash that like button for me. Also, make sure to subscribe below and hit that notification bell for more Linux videos. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.